Nearly two decades since the September 11, 2001 terror attack on the United States, Americans continue to mourn and never forget the lives lost. These Air Force Junior ROTC cadets from Fort Hayes Metropolitan Education Center were not born yet when September 11, 2001 occurred. But the story shared here at this 9-11 Remembrance Ceremony held at the Matsa Military Museum in Groveport didn't stop these students from honoring an important turning point in America's history. All these young people, I hope that you never have to feel what we feel. Those of us who are old enough to understand and comprehend what happened 9-11, it, it took a little bit of all of us. Now retired New York City firefighter Lieutenant Dominic Marjorie was a medic at the time of the attacks that killed 2,977 people, including 343 New York firefighters, 23 New York City police officers, and 37 New York Port Authority officers. Marjorie shared a story of a special New York City paramedic that he says everyone should know. His name is Carlos Lilo. On September 11th, Carlos um, was at Brown Zero. Excuse me. <clears throat> he went into the building, we have pictures, and he carried out an elderly woman who was all bloodied and in his arms. Marjorie says his friend went into the towers three times to save people. Carlos went in a third time. Um, he didn't come out again. The first responders heading in straight first without even thinking twice. That was pretty inspiring. 15-year-old Aiden Goulet says he wants to join the United States Marine Corps when he graduates high school. Hearing Marjorie's story inspires him even more to serve his country. So I wanted to be in the military ever since I was five. I can't even remember when I was five. But my mom has me on recording saying I want to be in the military like uh, Papa. ROTC instructor Major Ben Kelprick, retired United States Air Force, says hearing stories from 9-11 gives these young cadets a greater appreciation for the men and women of the military and the first responders that serve and protect our country every single day. Um, it was an extremely sad day when we see the Twin Towers being attacked like it did in the Pentagon. Um, you'll never, you're never going to forget that day and that's why it means a lot for me to come here and uh, pay respects. Never forget what happened on 9-11.